Hi folks, today we will focus in, on the driver REF M3550 but with the aim of using in the standalone mode. We have already suggested this method of reusing drivers which involve using a, a tiny board. To do this we will have to find a way to remove it from the, its original PCB. In this case what is left of it. Since your beasts do not always have the most effective method of accomplishing the task at their disposal, we will try to demonstrate several methods to remove the IC from the PCB. This method is easy and safe after removing all capacitors and batteries from the PCB. We will use the kitchen and the stove to bring the board at uh, 60 by 40 eutetic soldering point. We cannot forget the essential PPEs, in this case gloves and glass. This is very important. Okay, it's dinner of temperature to remove the IC. Okay, it's free. This will be the ideal and the easier way to remove the IC from the PCB using a um, hair it run. Move the pins with a needle without applying too much force and maintain low amplitude movements to prevent the pin from breaking. Pass a copper wire tick enough to pass between the pins and the IC body. Solder one end to a strong solder point of the PCB. In these methods, I use resin impregnated copper mesh to remove excess of the solder. Okay, one more face. The same process, okay, I put here well, and now Okay, this is our last phase, and when the, we put the, the iron here with the L, the IC will be released because we already apply the, the, the process in the other three phases and ok the result is this okay. now we can apply our EC at the tiny board in this case the space is uh, 0.8 millimeters to the space between the pins of the IC after we will go apply the, the headers to the positions we can um, extract from the EC, ok? Our IC and the headers are being implemented in the tiny board and is ready to use again. As you can see, we already implement our IC in the tiny board. 
uh, I only had the headers um, is necessary uh, by each face of IC. In this case, I have 11 pins in each face and I apply uh, 12 pins, but you can uh, uh, apply the exact number uh, is necessary. Uh, I like uh, do it when alert. Please take note uh, the point, the, 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 the mark, the, the pin number one, and the, the face of the number one. If you um, follow the, the, the tracks, you will uh, see the, the, the first block of the 12 pins, in this case 11 of the face of the IC, will rest one pin, in this case the 12. The second block also rests uh, one pin, okay? But uh, in the third block, in the fourth block, you need to skip the first pin. But you, you can uh, follow the, 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 the tracks and um, make the sure you don't uh, do it mistakes because, um, okay, you will burn the IC if you do it, okay? I know this is not beautiful because it's a lot of the wires, but the beginning is easy to understand. You take a mirror from each face from the IC, or in this case the tiny board, and apply the first block, the pin from 1 to 11, the second block, the pin from uh, 12 to um, 22, the third block and the fourth block, okay? This correspond the, the direct from the, 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 the proto board to the pins or each face of the IC and make it easy to, to make the connections is necessary, okay? To communicate with the, the um, Arduino, the platform of the Arduino, uh, as normal, we need a reference of the GND, this is very important, okay? And after you have the data, the clock, chip selector, and in this case, I implement also the reset pin to initialize the, the, the driver. 